Hey, it's Carrie from Lovely Etc. And today I wanna to talk to you about outdoor furniture paint. I feel like outdoor furniture paint is a bit of a conundrum because there are plenty of exterior paints and there are tons and tons of furniture paints, but where are all the outdoor furniture paints? So what are you supposed to use when you need to paint some furniture for your porch or your patio and you want it to hold up well outdoors and also have a beautiful furniture finish? What are the best options? So today I wanna to share my picks for the best outdoor furniture paints based on my personal experience painting quite a few pieces of outdoor furniture over the years. So I'm gonna talk about seven different paints that you can use to paint outdoor furniture today. Some of these are exterior paints, some of these are furniture paints that can be used outdoors, some of these are spray paints, all different types of paints, and share my take on each one and which one is the best. So really quick, first, when you're choosing a paint for your outdoor furniture. What makes something the best and not the best? What is it you're even looking for? If something's gonna be used outdoors, you want it to be able to withstand temperature fluctuations, whether it gets really cold in the winter or really hot in the summer. Obviously it needs to be able to withstand moisture from rain and humidity. And you also want it to be able to resist fading from direct sunlight and UV rays. When it comes to furniture paint, you want something that goes on really smoothly and gives a very durable finish. So when we're talking outdoor furniture paint, we want all of those things in one package. And then of course we want something that is readily available and easy to purchase and also affordable. The first paint I wanna talk about is the type of paint I have used the most often for painting outdoor furniture. And that is regular exterior latex paint that you can get at your home improvement store. So I typically use Valspar because there's a Lowe's right down the street from me, but I've also used Bear and Sherwin-Williams. This is just latex paint in an exterior finish. So it's the same thing you'd use to paint your shutters or potentially the outside of your house exterior paint. So the good thing about it is it's made to be outside. So it's going to resist UV fading. It's going to hold up to moisture, all of those things. I've also found that it goes on fairly smoothly as long as you use a high quality paintbrush or a smooth roller. So it works pretty well for furniture. I have several pieces of furniture I've painted with exterior latex paint that has lasted, I think we're up to three years now, no chipping, no fading, it's still looking great. So I feel like I've had good results. There are some downsides to using just regular latex paint. One is you're probably gonna need to use a primer if you're painting over any kind of wood that hasn't been painted before or bare metal or paint that's been chipping, anything like that, you gotta start with primer. You don't have to use a separate sealer though because exterior paint is already formulated to hold up well to the weather without adding anything else on top of it. And the other good things about just using regular exterior latex paint, you can get it pretty much any big box store. It's fairly affordable and it comes in basically any color your heart could desire because you can get it mixed in any color available from the entire paint line. The next paint I wanna talk about is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Cover. Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch comes in a spray paint version but it also comes in a regular brush-on latex version, and that's the paint that I'm talking about right now. Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Cover Latex Paint is a premium latex paint that is designed to be used on interior and exterior furniture and home decor projects. So it's definitely meant to be used for outdoor furniture, among other things. This paint is pretty readily available. You can get it at Ace Hardware and a couple of other hardware stores, and it's fairly affordable at $20 for a quart. It comes in a few different colors. Each store will have a different availability, but there's a handful of colors. It also comes in semi-gloss, gloss, and flat, so you get a choice of sheen. The main thing I noticed when I was using the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch paint is that it's incredibly similar to painting furniture with other latex paints. You still need to use a separate primer if you're painting wood that hasn't been painted before or anything metal. It goes on pretty similarly. It's it's kind of a thin paint, it's easy to paint on, but you're gonna need at least two coats of paint to get good coverage. Because it's so similar to other latex paints, I don't know that it's worth going out of your way to choose the Rust-Oleum version, but if you have it handy, I think it's gonna work fine. Next up is another paint that is specifically made to be used on exterior projects. So this is Americana Decor Outdoor Living Paint. Because this is an outdoor paint specifically, it is supposed to resist UV fading and hold up well to moisture and temperature fluctuations. It does come in these little tiny eight ounce jars, which is both a good and a bad thing. If you need to buy a lot of paint, it's gonna add up. But if you only need a little, you don't have to buy a huge quart of paint just for a tiny project. It does come in about 25 different colors, which is nice, and you can mostly find it online. The other great thing about this paint is you don't have to use a separate primer or a separate sealer. On the downside, when I was using it, I found that I needed at least three coats of paint to get even paint coverage, even though I wasn't doing a huge color change. So even though you don't have to use primer or sealer, if you're doing more coats of paint, 
it's still about the same amount of work. The next two paints I wanna talk about are not technically outdoor paints. These are regular furniture paints that can be used for interior furniture projects, but according to the manufacturers, you can also use them outdoors. So the first paint I wanna talk about is Beyond Paint. Beyond Paint is an all-in-one paint that you can use for furniture, cabinets, even countertops. And it's an all-in-one paint because you don't need to use a separate primer and you don't need to use a separate sealer usually however when you're painting outdoor furniture they do recommend that you use their sealer on top of the paint to help protect the finish so that's a bit of a downside because it's not only more work it's also more money beyond paint is one of the more expensive paints that i tried and when you add in the cost of the sealer as well it is by far the most expensive i did really enjoy painting with beyond paint i was really impressed that i got such great coverage with only one coat of paint, even when I was painting such a dark color. I did do two coats to make it really even, but paint goes on very thick and covers really well, but even so, it still gives a really smooth finish without a lot of brush strokes. So in general, very impressed with the paint. The paint itself has a great matte finish and it looks really beautiful, but once you apply the sealer, it has a satin finish. Not as much my favorite, but it still looked great, and I definitely want to try Beyond Paint on some more furniture projects including some indoor furniture projects where you don't have to add a separate sealer. So I can see how it holds up. The next furniture paint I wanna talk about is General Finishes Milk Paint. So General Finishes Milk Paint is one of my favorite furniture paints. It's my go-to for painting furniture and cabinets. So I have a lot of experience using it for indoor projects, but this is my first time using it for something I'm specifically gonna be using outdoors. I can't really give you an update yet on how it's held up because it's only been a few weeks, but I definitely am interested to see how it holds up outdoors because I specifically did not use a separate sealer on this because General Finishes website said you don't have to. What I love about using General Finishes milk paint in general, first of all, it's not actually milk paint. It's not gonna give you that distressed finish. It's an acrylic paint. It just has a strange name. But I love that it's really easy to use. It's easy to get a smooth brush stroke free finish and it's very durable. You don't have to use a separate primer, and unless you're painting something for a really high traffic area, you don't have to use a separate sealer either. So general finishes are not cheap, and also a bit disappointingly, they recently discontinued a whole bunch of colors of their milk paint, so now there's only about a dozen colors available. The colors that are available are really nice and they cover all the basics, but it's still disappointing. Before I talk about spray paints that you can use to paint outdoor furniture, I just want to talk for just a minute about when to use spray paint and when not to use spray paint because I have pretty strong opinions about this. Spray paint is just not a good choice for painting wood furniture the majority of the time. And I'm talking about wood furniture that has large flat surfaces like dressers and tables and bookcases. Spray paint is not going to give you a nice even finish. It's almost impossible to paint a large flat surface in such a way that you can't see that it was spray painted. <laughs> However, spray paint is amazing when you are painting chairs with lots of rungs or furniture with slats or anything with lots of curves. It works well, you can't really tell if there's any uneven areas, and it's about a million times faster than trying to use a brush or a roller to paint something. So I am not anti-spray paint, I think it has its uses, but it's great in the right time and place. And when it comes to outdoor furniture, spray paint actually generally works really well because the majority of outdoor furniture is either wicker or slatted or made of planks because they make sure that water can drain away from your furniture. So you don't have a whole lot of those large flat surfaces, which makes spray paint a great choice. So I have used two different types of spray paint on outdoor furniture, Krylon Color Max and Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. And to be quite honest, I didn't see much of a difference between the two. So I typically just choose whatever is available at the store that's closest to me and whatever has the color that I want to use. When you're using spray paint, I do recommend using a separate primer, even though they all say that they have paint and primer in one. If you're painting anything that hasn't been painted before, raw, metal, bare wood, anything that's had chipping or peeling, using a separate primer first is just gonna get you much better results and your paint job's gonna last a lot longer. You can also put a separate clear coat over your spray paint and furniture, but you don't have to. Um, if it's gonna be out fully in the sun, it might be a good idea, but I typically don't and I've still had good results. Which brings me to what actually is the best paint for outdoor furniture. Now, of course, this is 
subjective. Different people might come to a different conclusion. But for me, based on what gives the best finish, is easiest to use, and what is the most likely to give a durable finish that's gonna last for years, my pick is actually what I've been using all along, which is regular old exterior latex paint. I think that for some people it seems like a weird choice because I don't usually use latex paint to paint indoor furniture. I think there are furniture paints that are so much better than latex paint. However, when it comes to outdoor furniture, this is pretty much the choices that you have. And they all have pros and cons, but for me, the durability and the weather resistance of exterior latex paint is superior. And even when compared to the other furniture paints that are specifically meant to be used outdoors, they have much more limited color choices, are harder to find in stores, and I just didn't think they outperformed. And I'm probably, for the majority of my projects, gonna just stick with exterior latex paint. When it comes to anything with rungs, um, like rocking chairs, wicker chairs, anything with slats, spray paint is the easiest way to go. And like I said, Krylon or Rust-Oleum, they're both great brands and they give great results. As far as whether you need to seal your painted outdoor furniture, as you can tell, it really depends on what paint you are using. Exterior paints don't need to be sealed. They've already got all that baked in. Other paints do need to be sealed, so just factor that into your decision of what paint you're gonna use. And of course, whatever furniture paint you use, keep in mind that it is not going to last forever. I think sometimes people get disappointed when they paint something and then years down the road, it starts to look bad and they have to repaint it. That's gonna happen even if you buy something factory finished from the store. Paint's not gonna last forever. We're out here living our lives, touching things, <laughs> moving things around. You might have pets or kids. I would expect that a good furniture paint job would probably last about five years. If it's outdoors in extreme weather, in the heat, in the snow, and you never cover it, it might not last quite that long. So take care of your furniture, it'll last longer. And the great thing is, if it starts to look a little worse for wear, you can always repaint it. If you haven't, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, Lovely Etc., where I share lots of painting tips and also inexpensive DIY ideas for creating a home that you love. See you next time.